Hey y'all, what's up? It's Jessica. Welcome back and thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Today, I'm going to be trying out the new Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. I have been hearing so much about this foundation. It's been advertised. It's being advertised everywhere. So many people are raving about this foundation and it's a new foundation. It's full coverage, but the fact that it's a full coverage drugstore foundation, I was like, yes, I need to try this out. So it comes into 16 shades and it claims that it is 24 hour full coverage foundation. Now that's a huge claim, especially for a drugstore foundation, because I don't think there's any other drugstore foundation that claims to do that. Now, I won't be testing the 24 hour claim because I never wear my makeup for that long, but I can tell what a foundation will do for my skin within the first couple of hours. Like if it's going to settle in my lines, if it's going to start, you know, moving, drifting, shifting and all that. So I will be testing that out as well as the full coverage claim because some foundations claim to be full coverage, but then you got to add extra layers and stuff. We are going to find out if it lives up to its hype. So if you are excited to see what the Maybelline new Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation is going to do for me, let's dive into the video. So I picked up two of the Super Stay foundations because obviously so hard trying to find foundations at the drugstore because you can't really test it out so i picked up um this was the darkest shade they had available actually at my store but it's not the darkest shade within the full 16 shade collection this one is 355 coconut and then i picked up 334 warm sand i do like the fact that it has a pump because that's easier application okay so this is 355 coconut it's a bit red not really my match you can see my neck is yellow so this definitely doesn't blend with my undertone we're gonna try 334 warm sand right next to it oh yeah that's way off so I'm not sure if these are the exact shades like right next to each other they were at my Ulta so I'm assuming that they are the shades right next to each other. If so, that is a huge leap and it's not even a good transition because to go from warm sand to coconut, it's not a transition. We're missing like a few shades in between. Also the undertones are off. So I do feel like foundations need to come in an array of undertones as well as, sh as, well as shades because not every brown girl is red, just saying. So if this is too red and this is too light, I'm going to have to mix both of them <laughs> to kind of get the, the shade that kind of works best for me. One pump of coconut and one pump of the warm sand. And I'm going to take my foundation brush to just blend it out. It's really, really smooth. I do love that about it. A little bit of this goes a long way and I do think mixing the two shades together actually works for me. My problem area is on my chin. I have a lot of like little discoloration and blemishes, but I feel like this just, just slides right over it. It doesn't peek through at all. Guys, this foundation is extremely just satin and velvety. It goes on so smooth and it doesn't feel heavy at all. One of the things I don't enjoy about full coverage foundation, it feels like you're wearing full coverage and sometimes it looks like you're wearing full coverage. It just feels super heavy and I like my skin to feel, to still feel like skin and look like skin um, and not feel so like overwhelmed with makeup. But I don't feel that at all. This is a really lightweight foundation but definitely it's full coverage. Making sure I got everywhere and kind of get it into that neck so that it blends a little bit. I think definitely mixing the two colors together actually worked for my skin tone. Cause I see that transition. It looks like, you know, looks like we have a match. It is a slight bit too red, but it's nothing that I can't work with. It's not over, it's not overly red. All right, you guys, this is how my skin is looking so far. And it looks amazing, oh my God. You guys, you guys, literally, I'm thoroughly impressed. Don't think I've experienced this with a drugstore foundation before. Ooh, girl, look at her skin. Okay, you need eyebrows before you start flexing. <laughs> so far, y'all, I am in love. So far, I, I don't see it settling in any of my lines. So far, I'm not done yet. Maybelline. All right, so let me continue. Now, for highlighting, I do believe Maybelline came out with a Superstay concealer, if I'm not mistaken, or they came out with a newer concealer 
I didn't see that concealer at my Ulta, so why not just use 334 Sand, Warm Sand, as our highlight? Let's try it, why not? It's light enough, oh, it's definitely light enough. I'm gonna go ahead and contour. This is by Fenty Beauty, their Matchstick and Espresso. While that's cooking on my face. I think one of my concerns is by me allowing it to cook on my face, is it going to super stay? Like, is it gonna just stay in place and not allow me to blend it out? All right, so I'm gonna take my beauty blender and begin to blend this out. Oh, it does blend out pretty well. Okay, so it doesn't dry down too fast to where it's not workable or movable. You definitely can let it sit for a minute, let it cook, warm up, and still be able to blend it out. So that's a good sign. It blends out really, really nicely, you guys. Really nicely. Maybelline is doing the dang thing, y'all. It's definitely layerable. Like you can add layers of product on this foundation and it still looks so good because sometimes foundation looks good when you put it on then you start adding other products to it and then it just starts acting up. This so far, y'all, my skin, oh my God. It literally warmed up so nicely. So 334 is a really good highlight shade for me. It's not overly light. It just gives a nice warm like glow. Oh my God, my skin. I think, I think I'm a little shook, okay? Let me regain my composure. Look at how amazing my skin looks, you guys. I mean, I don't know, I don't know what to say. I literally look like I put on a super expensive high-end foundation and she didn't. Now I'm gonna set my foundation. I did buy this setting powder. It's by Makeup Revolution. This is their luxury baking powder and I got the shade Terracotta. Now, originally I wanted banana, but they were sold out. So I got Terracotta. I don't know why I'm afraid to use this. It has, um, I don't know if this is supposed to be for deeper, deeper skin tones, like a little bit deeper than mine. Should I try it out? I, I really wanna go in with banana because I don't know what I wanna do. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna test this out just so you guys can see what terracotta looks on my skin complexion. Um, I do wanna check out some more of Makeup Revolution's products. They don't have enough at my Ulta. I think because they're remodeling my Ulta. This reminds me of the Ben Eye Banana Powder, just the packaging and everything. So I usually use my beauty blender, but today I'm gonna use just a brush. So it's really, really warm. This is good for deeper skin tones, terracotta. I'm so used to using banana shades that I was a little worried and apprehensive to use this one, but I don't feel like it's too bad. I just think it's a little bit too warm for my skin complexion. I like a little bit more yellow to kind of, you know, go with my undertone. Wow, that's a good powder, y'all. Okay, I'm just finding all kinds of new favorites in this video. Is she looking beat yet? I feel like I look beat. I feel like I'm on the verge of being extremely beat today. I am gonna go in with my Shea Moisture powder I always use. Okay, so I'm gonna bronze with my Becca bronzer in Maui Nights. So I'm gonna go in with my Sephora Micro Smooth powder just to smooth and blend everything out. Give everything a nice transition. So I'm gonna add some blush. This is Coral Code by Milani. Warm up those cheeks. I'm gonna highlight with ColourPop's Dewdrop Highlighter in Wonderlust. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and then come back with my final thoughts. All right, y'all, so I'm back with the completed look. Face is looking <laughs> so beat right now. I went ahead and used the Maybelline Superstay Lippy. Uh, this is their Superstay 24 hour lip color. I don't see where the shade name is, but if I can find it, I will link it down below, but that's what's also on my lips. It's a gorgeous, really dark mauve nudey color. Okay, so let's talk about this foundation. Literally, I think this is one of the best drugstore foundations that I that I personally own um, in terms of how my face is looking right now. I had it on for about 
an hour and a half and it's still looking super gorgeous it hasn't settled into any lines my face looks oh so beat like i don't even have plans to go anywhere but someone else needs to experience this beat so i might just have to just go somewhere i'm just, I'm just saying i just think in terms of how flawless it makes your skin look this is a really good foundation. Like if I did not tell you like, oh, this is Maybelline or girl, this is a drugstore product. No one would believe that. They would think I'm wearing something a little bit more expensive. It gives you flawless, full coverage. The finish is beautiful. Like no exaggeration, you guys. The way my skin and face is looking right now, I can't even contain myself because I'm just so excited that this product isn't so expensive so that I can repurchase it and not feel some type of way. <laughs> if you're into the whole full coverage beat look, you are going to love this foundation. But what I also love about this is that it's not heavy on the skin because a lot of times, literally, I just want to, as soon as I put full coverage foundation on, I want to take it off because it just feels super heavy. It feels overwhelming on my skin and I don't like that. I like for my skin to breathe as well um, when it's looking flawless. I don't want to feel like I have a pound of makeup on my face and that is not the case with this foundation. Look at how seamless and how flawless my skin is looking, you guys. It's amazing. Like this is one of, this is the best drugstore foundation at the moment. In my opinion, that's just my opinion. If you see something better or if you have something better, please let me know because I am a foundation junkie. I have so many foundations I'm all, and I'm always at the drugstore just trying to find the next best thing. Currently, this is the next best thing. So like by now, I would get shine in certain areas and I don't have any shine. It's literally just flawless, a very smooth, seamless look. Nothing like shiny about my look at all girl i'm just glowing i'm such an expressive person so my face just does a lot of weird stuff throughout the day i'm laughing i'm yelling i'm doing all kinds of stuff and right even now while i'm talking i'm not seeing any smile lines trying to play me one critique that i do have they definitely need to expand their shade range i think 16 is i mean for a drugstore it's it's i we can definitely do better i feel like when we get to like the deeper darker shades the the leaps and the jumps girl they're doing hurdles like we need some transitions in between each shade but with the darker shades it's just like you guys are red so i'm just gonna give you red no girl we need some gold and some yellow in there just saying but overall i give this foundation i give it a 10. it's one of the best uh drugstore foundations and literally one of the best foundations i've tried because i'm currently in love with this look oh my god girl have you ever just been feeling yourself you just look at yourself and just be like wow that is my review and first impression of the new maybelline super state full coverage foundation 10 out of 10 would highly recommend these i you guys saw i use it as a highlight i use it as my full coverage foundation and i am looking currently flawless okay and if you'd like to join the fun, if you'd like to join the Jessica Petway family, then just go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any more slime. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!